Welcome to this instructional tutorial and review of the bracelet camera. Okay, here's what it comes with. Here's the manual, charger and data cable, and the bracelet camera. Okay, so let's take a look at the camera. Now, it comes with a screen film that's over it, so I'm going to remove that. Okay, so right over here is the lens. I'm going to give you a closer look. Now there are two buttons here. This is the K1 button and this is the K2 button. Okay, now the first thing you need to do is to charge the camera. Now to charge the camera, plug the camera into the computer's USB port with the charger cable and keep it plugged in and you're going to see the charger light flash red. It's going to continue to flash red until it's charged and then you're going to see a steady red light and that means the camera is charged. Okay, now the next thing you need to do is to install a micro SD card. So you have to take the camera out of the bracelet. Right over here is where you put the micro SD card in, so I'm going to do that right now. Okay, now you have to push the memory card in until you feel a click and then when you feel the click it's properly installed. And there you go, that's how to install a micro SD card. And right over here is the charger port. Okay, so I'm going to put the camera back into the bracelet. Now right over here is the microphone, and this is the indicator light. Okay, now let's turn the camera on, press and hold down the K1 button for about two seconds. Okay, as you just heard, the camera vibrated one time. As you can see, the light is steady, and the camera is now in standby mode. Now let's take a video, press the K1 button. Now as you just saw, the camera flashed red three times, and the camera is now taking video. To stop taking video, press the K1 button. The camera just vibrated, now the light is steady. The video is saved as an AVI file and the camera is now back in standby mode. Now to take a photo, while the camera is in standby mode, press the K2 button. As you just saw, the camera flashed several times. It took three consecutive photos and is now back in standby mode. To take more photos, press the K1 button again. As you just saw, the camera flashed several times, took three more photos, and the camera is now back in standby mode. Okay, now to record sound only, while the camera is in standby mode, press and hold down the K2 button for about two seconds. As you just saw, the camera flashed three times, it went off, and the camera is now recording the sound. To stop recording sound, press the K2 button. Light went on, the camera vibrated one time, the light is now a steady light, and the camera has saved the sound as a WAV file, and the camera is now back in standby mode. And you can also record while the camera is charging. Now to do that, you connect it to the USB port to charge, and you can just press the K1 button, and then the camera will record. Now keep in mind that this camera doesn't have a loop mechanism, so when the memory card is full, it will no longer be able to record and will not erase any old recording. Now, once the memory card is full, it will stop recording and shut down automatically. Now, to use the camera as a webcam, connect the camera to the computer and after the camera is connected to the computer and is detected to the computer, press the K1 button and then the camera will be ready to be used as a webcam. Now, to turn the camera off, Press and hold down the K1 button for about two seconds. Now as you just heard, it made a long vibration sound and the camera is now powered off. Okay, so let's take a look at the manual. It's in English. As well as Chinese.
I'm going to put them on. Now you have to make sure if you're putting it on your right hand, the lens has to face upward because when you're filming, it has to be this way. So this is the right way to put it on. It is lightweight and comfortable. So you just hold it this way and then that is the way to properly film it with the camera lens facing this way and then you just point it to the area that you want to film. Okay, so I'm going to be doing a demonstration with the camera, so please stay tuned. Okay, this is a test of the bracelet camera. I'm currently taking some footage to see how the video turns out and to hear how the audio turns out. So here we go. Okay, so there you have it. This was an instructional tutorial and review of the bracelet camera. So I hope you found this video useful. If you have, please show your support for this channel by subscribing. Feel free to leave comments. Please like up this video and thank you for tuning in.